Hello everyone, this is Mopar Dad here, and I want to just explain how the Pentastar V6 is more powerful than the 6.4 Hemi. And I'm not doing this to crap on the Hemis. Uh, they're great engines. I love everything Mopar, but uh, seems like the uh, V6 gets a lot of hate. And uh, it wasn't that long ago that 300 horsepower was the staple for the V8s, and the engine makes 305 horsepower. So uh, this is pretty easy to do. All I did was uh, I divided the uh, displacement from the horsepower that the engine makes and that'll tell you how much power the engine makes per cubic inch of displacement so I also threw the 5.7 Hemi in there so if you look at the 5.7 Hemi it makes 375 horsepower in the Challenger um, it's a 345 cubic inch engine so you take 375 horsepower and divide 345 from it and you get 1.086 so just a little over one horsepower per cubic inch which is good it's not bad uh, but it's not as good as the Panastar uh, so we look at the uh, 392 cubic inch Hemi 300 uh, well, 485 horsepower 485 horsepower divide 392 from that you get 1.237 so about 1.2 horsepower per cubic inch that's actually really good but not as good as the Pentastar. Pentastar V6 is only 220 cubic inch engine it's an all aluminum block all aluminum heads the whole engine if you look it up uh, weighs 332 pounds fully dressed it's probably the most technically advanced engine that Mopar makes and puts in the Challenger yes you have the Hellcats and everything but that's just an old an older cast iron block engine, it's an old design, it's nothing new, you can throw a big blower on it and make horsepower with anything doing that. Uh, but anyways, 305 horsepower, divide 220 cubic inches from that, you get 1.386 horsepower per cubic inch. So about 1.4, you round it off, horsepower, that's pretty dang good, 1.4 horsepower per cubic inch. And now, a little bit more fun here, if you go ahead and take 1.386 times 392 cubic inches, and you can see how much a horsepower the Pentastar would make if Dodge decided to make a new 392 based on how they built the Pentastar. It would make 543 horsepower. So, Again, I didn't make this video to crap on the uh, Hemis. They're great engines. I love everything Mopar. But it seems like the V6 gets a lot of hate. Don't get much credit. And it's actually a very good engine. Very advanced engine. Um, but just trying to give the V6 a little bit of praise there. Uh, that's what I have. I have a 2015 Dodge Challenger SXT. And I honestly believe it's more than most people need uh, you got lots of money go ahead and go for the v8s you're gonna pay a lot more insurance you're gonna pay a lot more in gas but it's worth it if you got a lot of money if you ain't got a lot of money 305 horsepower again that was a staple that all the v8s were trying to hit not that long ago if you look at a 2010 mustang gt which is only five years uh older than my car it had a V8 and made 315 horsepower. About the same as what mine does. Again, 300 horsepower is not nothing to sneeze at. So, if you're looking into buying a Challenger, I'd suggest test drive the V6, put it to the floor and see what you think. If it's not enough, go ahead and go for the V8. But remember, you're gonna pay about double the insurance that you would for the V6. And you're probably not gonna want, all, you know, I don't know. You're going to spin the tires a lot easier with the V8. I can spin the tires with my V6 pretty easy. Um, and think about driving that all the time, driving through town, trying not to get a ticket. So, I'm not hating on anybody with the V8. If I had a lot of money, sure, I would, I would throw the money away. But, honestly, you don't need it. I can hit 0 to 60 and 6 flat with my V6. And that's not bad. That's pretty good. That's faster than 95% of the stuff on the road. 
So it's mostly trucks, SUVs, crossovers. I can pass those quite easily uh, and just about everything else. If I run into a Hellcat, yeah, I'm not beating that. If I run into a 5.0 Mustang, that's yeah, going to be faster unless I supercharge my car, which I may do someday. $5,500, put a supercharger on it. Still costs less than RT or GT Mustang or any of those. And I still get 30 miles to the gallon. So, you know, it's all on what you want. I don't think it's feasible to go for the V8 uh, unless, of course, you have plenty of extra money. You have money to throw around? Go ahead. You got money to just outright buy it and not pay the payment? Go ahead. You got to pay a payment? I'd go with the V6. So, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be making a lot of videos on the car because... I love the car. I think it's great. Um, so if you wanna, if you if you're interested in Mopars, subscribe to the channel. It's all I drive. Hence the name Mopar Dad. We got three vehicles. They're all Mopars. We have a 2017 Chrysler Pacifica. We have a 2006 Ram. Old truck still runs great. Um, and I got the 2015 uh, Dodge Challenger SXT. So I'm gonna be making videos about. The mods that I put on there, the port horsepower gains you can expect from a cold air intake, exhaust, that's all I have, cold air intake and exhaust, I'm not going to hit 60 and 6 flat. <laughs> if I could get the tires hooked up right now, I could do it a little quicker than that, but I just ran the other day and I couldn't get couldn't get the tires hooked up. It's too cold. The road was dry, but too cold. The tires were hooked. So, but, uh... Anyway, like, share, and subscribe. There'll be a lot more videos coming about the Challenger. Um, I'll also be doing videos about anything and everything. So, if, if you like Mopar, subscribe. I'll be doing lots of videos on Mopars. Talk to you later.